Coping with COVID-19, brought to you by Guardian Group. Live easy. And as we help you continue to cope with COVID, this is Child Abuse Prevention Month. And of course, we are talking about the fact that so many children will be at home uh, during this time. Many of them might be in or some of them might be in vulnerable circumstances. And the question really carries, how do we keep our children safe? And particularly so now that we are bringing awareness during Children's Awareness Month or Child Prevention uh, Abuse Prevention uh, Month. Um, we will be speaking with uh, Rhonda Gregoire Rupchan, Deputy Director of Care Services at the Children's Authority of Trinidad and Tobago. And across social media, we have been seeing comments of persons talking about not just uh, child abuse, but domestic violence as a whole, uh, because persons are now in a situation where they are no longer able to escape either through school or through work and you know it is a growing concern and uh, which is the reason we are looking at this this morning yeah yeah definitely and uh, again to ventilate the uh, topic here and to really get down into the meat of it is uh, Rhonda Greg Gregoire Rupchan and I'm looking forward and, to that and she's on the line yes well. good yeah. morning hi good morning good, good morning thank good. you for having me oh absolutely uh, tell me uh, child of child abuse prevention month what is the significance of uh, is commemorating this month and how will it be commemorated? How, how are we going to do it, especially in this time of uh, a lockdown situation? Right. For Child Abuse Prevention Month is an annual observance. We observe that in April mm -hmm. every year, and it's really intended to bring awareness to the fact that abuse is occurring among our children and to highlight how we prevent abuse, yeah. especially in these trying times. Mm -hmm. And how can the authority? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go the ahead. authority intends to do that given um, our current situation observing our COVID guidelines. We're not as free to move around and share as we would have been in the past. So we at the authority are, are sharing through media appearances, much like this one, and using our social media platforms yes. to be able to share with the public as much as possible how to prevent abuse among their children and to be aware and to protect their children. How can parents keep their children safe now, particularly as they are expected to stay at home and um, mm -hmm. the, the home may not necessarily be the safest environment. Right now we're asking parents to be vigilant. Don't let your guard down. To trust your instincts when it comes to protecting your children and keeping them safe, especially at home. You're quite right. Home is not always a safe place for every single child. And so as, as a society, we have to respect that child abuse now is everybody's business. Mm -hmm. We have to create an opportunity for our children to tell us what is happening to them. We have to teach them what is abuse, what is an okay and not okay touch. And we have to also know those persons with whom we trust and leave our children, especially for our essential workers. We must be very intimately aware of how those persons are going to care for our children and listen to our children when they tell us that something is not right. And if someone suspects that something is not too kosher, with uh, mm -hmm. you know, a child in a home, what, what do you guys recommend they do? So we, we ask that if you suspect even the smallest level of abuse that is happening to a child, that no level of abuse is insignificant, call our hotline at 800-2014-2014 or 996. Mm -hmm. And sexual abuse is an offense that we must report to the police. It's mandatory. And so we ask that when those um, types of abuse are suspected, that we call 999. So 996 for the authority and 999 for the police. Okay, and what, is, what happens next? Wh where does it go from there? Once a call comes in to the authority with an allegation of abuse, our next step is to substantiate that allegation, really going out to investigate, to see what's really happening with that child. Mm -hmm. And once we get there, we try to mitigate risk as much as possible. The mm -hmm. authority takes care of the needs of the child, which is the psychosocial investigation. The police takes care of the needs of the, the perpetrator and bringing them to charges and bringing them to justice, that part, the criminal investigation. So mm -hmm. we work closely with the police in that regard. Yeah. And, you know, some parents might be grappling with their own emotional health at this time, given the, the fact that everyone has to stay at home, and yet they may have the situation going on as well, the added stress of the situation with the parents, with the children, rather. 
Um, mm -hmm. And what, what do you recommend for parents who are dealing with emotional stress as well as uh, abuse with their children? I do recommend to parents, as I recommend to myself, that when you are feeling at the end of your rope, when you are feeling stressed, that you seek professional help. Many of our partners have come on board and are offering services, National Family Services, Ministry of Social Development, the International and Local Red Cross, Student Support Services, and even at the authority, if you, you, you know, need somebody to just share and give this information in detail. We have as parents to seek help and get support. As mm -hmm. single parents in particular, use your networks and your support systems to help you through this time. Yes. Where there are multiple adults in the home, you have to share the workload. We are experiencing something new. We are spending more time with our children and the response to educate them at home is also now on our place. So we mm -hmm. have to share that load and responsibility and create moments for the carers to de-stress. Take a moment, a long shower, an uninterrupted meal, just five minutes when that's your time so that you can manage your own emotions as well. Right. And what type of uh, abuse is usually reported to the authority? Is there one particular type that is more prevalent than another with regard to children? Well, over the years that the authority has been in operation, we've seen physical abuse, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, as well as neglect coming to us in quite large numbers. Mm -hmm. Those numbers have um, essentially remained quite significant in terms of the type of abuse that we receive reports on. Mm -hmm. And um, what sort of coping strategies do you recommend for families who are dealing with this as a whole now, you know, in the home? With families who are dealing with abuse or who have... Um, been victims of abuse, I'd advise the parents to be supportive to your children, especially the non-offending parents. The police will treat with the offenders, but for the child that remains in the home, they need to be supported. They need to feel that they have not done anything wrong and mm -hmm. that they are safe. Yes. And we need as parents to create that environment for them. So the theme this year is strong and thriving families. As we wrap up, um, how can families become strong and thriving especially given the circumstances that we are in now. Take this opportunity to acknowledge that we are spending quality time together. Create that narrative, that space where we can continue to pass on family traditions. Put our differences aside. Now is not the time. Reach out to those persons who may be your support via the media. Schedule, schedule, schedule. You have to create a system of of clear um, activities, both learning and fun activities for your friends, for your family, for those who you ha are in contact with. And in that way, we can spend more time together, understand each other, and build on the strength of the family. We didn't have time for that before. This yeah. is a golden opportunity to make that time and to use that time. Always a silver lining. Rhonda Gregor, oh, and thank you so much for joining us this morning. Deputy Director, Care Services of the Children's Authority, of Trinidad and Tobago. Remember, you can call 996 or 999 if you need assistance or if you suspect uh, child abuse taking place at all. Just give a call and you heard exactly what would happen to make sure our children are safe. Keeping our children safe, that's what we're doing. This was brought to you by Guardian Life. Coping with COVID-19 brought to you by Guardian Group. Live easy.